Let's talk about this uh, Disney story because part of what I find very interesting all the time is what Disney does. They're a very interesting company. They're incredibly secretive. They don't let anybody in. Remember at the end of the Florida project, didn't they have to shoot that with a phone because yeah, yeah. nobody can nobody can film mm. in Disney World. There's never been really a good Disney documentary, mm. right? Right. There's never been a dark Disney. And you know shit goes down, but you know, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I get a bad feeling from Disney World. I have some jokes in my act about it. I don't like it. I don't like it. And it doesn't mean that I don't recognize its contributions to the American cultural landscape. I don't really. <laughs> you know, not a ton of them. But it's a, it's a disease, kind of. It's a sickness, you know. And I don't and I don't know what can be done about it because people adore it. And I even respect people that love it and people like it. And it, it's it's this eternal. Peter Pan syndrome uh, that that people have. People people really enjoy their childhoods, and if if they feel that they've been slighted in any way during their childhood, or if they've missed anything, they have to continually make up for it all the time. That's why they had these crazy things like the adult uh, summer camps, where people that didn't get a chance to go to summer camp would then go as an adult. Mm -hmm. it, and instead of going, well, I'm not going to get everything out of life. You can't get everything you want. You can't have every experience. Some people are unable to admit that they just missed out on. So you can't go back to college at a certain age. It's uh, not the experience you would have had, right? But Disney World doesn't seem to be like that. People just connect with it at any age and they just feel, and it's it's odd and whatever. And and and, and so now these these people who are, again, they're unwell. They're not well, people. But something is happening now where they're they're be, they're they're marketing to them, and they're they're God help us now. There are Disney communities. Explain that to people. So it's a new master plan community, and they're going to do it out in uh, out in the Coachella Valley where Walt Disney famously lived out there. But this is going to be in California. In California, yeah. This is going to be you're a part of Disney all the time. So the the water is going to be that crystal blue turquoise somehow constantly uh, flowing through so the rivers. Here's here's what it says here. Have you ever visited a Disney theme park resort with its perfectly manicured and clean scrubbed grounds? By the way, that's not true. <laughs> a lot in a lot of the cases. But listen to listen to even how sick the article sounds. Mm. Have you ever visited a Disney theme park resort with its perfectly manicured and clean scrubbed grounds? Whimsical, yet reassuring architecture. Why use the word reassuring? Do you see how sick it is? Do you see how sick it is? Reassuring. What, what are you, what do you need to be reassured of through the architecture? Okay. Clean scrubbed grounds, whimsical, yet Reassuring architecture, chirpy employees and general sense of cheery optimism and thought, how great would it be if you could take a permanent residence there? That's the sort of idea behind the Mouse House's latest venture, Disney branded master planned home communities. God help us. Today, the company announced story living by Disney. Again, the the coupling of words, story living, fills me with a sense of dread. Story living by Disney. I'm scared about what the next few lines of this will be. Which will be a part of the same division that oversees its theme parks, Disney Cruise Line, and other experiences. The first community, which will be known as Cotino. Because it's by Coachella, mm. which is the fairgrounds out in the desert by Palm Springs, where uh, all these rich kids go and dress like uh, Native Americans in headdresses and do Molly mm. and jump around to 21 Pilots. Now, by the way, this may be a better use of the desert than that. Let me not judge. It's kind of a throwaway part of the world over there. It's pretty... Uh, 
just a bunch of people. So the first community, which will be known as Cotino, and include about 1,900 housing units, will be in the Palm Springs city of Rancho Mirage, California. I'm getting scared now. Mm -hmm. I'm ten because we're about to cover something in the Hamptons. I'm very, very scared about what's happening here. This is not good. Palm Springs, if you've ever been out there, is a fucking cool community. 1950s, those old mid-century modern homes, old cars, really cool history. There's a lot of shit. Hollywood, you know, famous old Hollywood, Sinatra and all this shit. I, I'm, I'm a little worried now that some, that Cotino is about to open a, a, a community for sick. I'm going to tell you right now, there is a mobile home park in Florida full of pedophiles. Okay. I'm telling you right now, between having to live there or Cotino, I'm torn. Quote, there is incredible demand for all things Disney. Our fans continue to look for new ways to engage with us, to keep Disney as part of their lives, says Josh Diamaro, chairman of Disney Parks, Experiences and Products. At the branded communities he adds, you can be part of Disney all the time. Wouldn't it get wouldn't it get a little sick? Don't you think you'd get sick of it on day, I don't know, 48? Maybe maybe it would take these fucks to like month three. Mm -hmm. You know, the end of, but don't, don't you think eventually you'd say to yourself, oh, I've had enough. As for the story living name, this is truly chilling. It's, Chilling. I was talking to a guy once. I forget, but I think it was on Grinder. It might have been on Craigslist. It was very. It was a long time ago, and I said something to him, and he said I, a chill ran down my spine, it, it, which wasn't good. I don't know what I said, but he said a, a chill just ran down my spine. But then he stopped talking to me. But I think it was bad. As for the story, living name. Communities will capitalize on the company's sense of storytelling and placemaking. Instead of telling Mickey Mouse tales, however, they will focus on the culture, history, experience, food, and other attributes of the places in which they will be built. Coachella? Plans call for a centerpiece lagoon with a beach that will be accessible to members of the community's private club. Every single element of these communities will be steeped in a story. The residents, he says, will be active participants in the stories. What? God. I don't even know what that means. What does that even mean? I don't know. They have an ad here for it. Let's watch this ad. We can legally play this because it's, it's. This is yeah. sick. Okay, here we go. If I'm telling you right now, <clears throat> if 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 you are going, if this excites you in the least, you have very deep problems. If there's anything about this, if, if you are responding to this in any other way than what is appropriate, which is a proportional sense of horror and fear, I'm afraid. How many areas will they ruin with this? Oh God. I'm afraid. And by the way, Disney, wait till Marvel gets involved. Hey, who likes Batman? You want to live with Spider-Man all the time? And maybe it's DC. Don't at me. I don't give a fuck. I'm saying when Disney starts these fantasy communities for sick fucks who just want to live in a fucking uh, movie for the rest of their lives, all of these mega corporations, are they're just going to build a big Nike town and everyone's going to be walking around with their dumb sneakers. I'm telling you, it, it's trouble. Trouble's a brewing. And if you don't see these trends for what they are, if you don't see these trends as a massive problem, it, it is go I, I can't help you. If you don't think if you think it's a good idea for Disney to build communities, a corporation like Disney World to build communities that look like movies for people to pretend to be in a movie all day. If you think that's a good idea, then I can't help you. Let's watch the ad. Now, Disney storytelling and world-famous Disney service. 
inspire something new. I'll take you there. Charming home communities where the story is all about you. Story Living by Disney. I'll take you there. I can't wait till the first guy kills his wife and they go, well, this wasn't part of the story. <laughs> I I'm telling you, man, it's disturbing because it's only the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's only the beginning. What about Bucky's? They'll have a community too. Probably. Yeah. Bucky's. Why not? The big, what is it? A beaver? Yeah, it's a big beaver. Yeah, the big uh, Walmart beaver that everybody loves. Mm -hmm. Bucky's. It's a big Walmart type of store mm -hmm. with a beaver. Why not have a Bucky's planned community? Bucky's Beaver, where instead of water in the fall, it's corn syrup. I I'm telling you, man, this is the beginning of corporations designing communities. Mm -hmm. um, and by the way, BlackRock, all these guys, they'll all get in bed with this. They go, yeah, you can rent. You can start, you can rent here. And then eventually... Some of Cotino's neighborhoods will be designed for residents 55 and older, a market which Disney seems especially interested in. Families with young children and people of all ages will be able to purchase properties. You think there'll be a hood? You think there'll be a rough area in Disney? Like, do you think Cotino will have a hood? You think there'll be a rough area in the Disney community? I hope so. You think there'll be any area in the Disney community where they'll just open air drug markets, fentanyl, needles, people getting shot? Quote, baby boomers are moving into retirement. They're going to be moving into retirement communities. That's true, says Daryl Fairweather, chief economist for Seattle-based real estate brokerage Redfin. Why not have it be a Disney-branded retirement community? Oh, I don't know, Daryl. Fucking common sense, taste, decency, dignity, Daryl. If you heard any of those words, have you fucking ever come in contact with any of those concepts? Perhaps Google them. Why not have it be a Disney branded retirement community? I don't know, because hopefully not every elderly person is fucking insane. Disney World should be a four day thing. You put Mickey Mouse ears on grandma and grandpa. It's hot. They take naps. You have a fucking Mickey waffle and you get the fuck out of there. You don't live there for the rest of your life, you sick fuck. How much do you want to give there? How much do you want to give this corporation? Their movies aren't even that good. How much do you want to give these people? How much do you want to give this Nazi and his fucking cartoons? How many pounds of flesh must you deliver them? Proof of vaccination is no longer required to get into Disney Park. Well, that's nice. Disney says that amenities will include live entertainment, wellness programming, and seminars. Plans call for Centerpiece Lagoon. Yeah, we went over that. There will be public components of Cotino as well, including a hotel and entertainment, dining, and show. And here's what disturbs me about it. People are going to love it. Oh, yeah. Uh, people, I mean, are, I mean, people are going to love it so much. And this is what scares me. They're going to go, fuck Palm Springs, all that history, and fuck it. I want to go to Cotino, a community built 15 minutes ago by corporate psychopaths. And I, I, I. I want to visit Cotino because my cousin just moved there. They're doing their story living in Cotino. What's that? Well, living's not enough. See, that's how they came up with story living. An executive sat in a room and went, living's not enough. People need a story. We got to give them a story. Well, can't they create their own stories? Yeah, well, we thought they could, but apparently they can't. That's why they keep coming back to our shit park. So we've created a story for them. We've built a community where the water is a uh, blue, it, like Gatorade colored, <laughs> nothing's real. Everything's ugly and neon and brightly colored and everyone's happy at every moment of the day. No matter who's getting raped, everybody's thrilled. No matter how diseased and drug addicted and no matter the famine that's going on outside of these gates, they're chirpy and happy. 
because we think Disney should be about happiness, no matter what the hell's going on. We don't care. Outside of Cotino, the world will be going to hell in a handbasket. But we put up those gates and put a lot of guys with guns outside, and inside it's all Mickey waffles and smiles because it's Cotino. Now, if it works, it won't stop with Disney. It will expand other... Co Carl's Jr. will have a community. I'm telling you, all of these corporations, they will keep doing this. They will realize that people need their entire lives to be planned and managed for them. And, and they will try to provide people some refuge from the horrors of existence by creating these serene corporate environments of like-minded people. And you're going to live around all these people who saw Lady in the Tramp and it had such an effect on them that they never wanted to do anything else with their life. And they're going to live in these places and it will never, it's not going to stop with Disney. Disney will be the most successful and the biggest, but then other other companies are going to start to do this as well. All the fucking DC and Marvel and all that comic book shit. Despite bearing its name, Disney will not own the communities or be the developer of record. Nor will it be building or selling the homes. It will be partnering with third parties to handle those functions because they want to keep their hands off it for when it gets sticky. Right, right. However, Disney's fabled Imagineers, the band of creatives who bring the park's animatronic pirates to life, will have a hand in designing Cotino and future community. As for the public face of the communities, Disney will manage the marketing and sales efforts, and once the communities are up and running, it's, quote, cast members, Disney speak for employees, cast members, cast members. Oh, is that person being nice to me? No, they're, it's, uh, they're an actor. It's, they're cast. Oh, I like living. Is that what it's going to be? Is it going to be like the beginning of Beauty and Beast? Bonjour. Bonjour. Welcome to Starbucks in Cotino. <laughs> Would you like a coffee? How are you? Your daughter's cutting herself. She has issues. But don't worry. It's all smiles in Cotino. Da, da, da. Bonjour. Bonjour. My wife has cancer. Bonjour. <laughs> it's happy time. We're happy no matter what. Turns out that the legendary founder of the company owned a home and frequented the Coachella Valley region in which Cotino will be located. Walt Disney treated the area like his creative oasis, says Michael Hungren, uh, executive producer with Walt Disney Imagineering. We love our residents to treat this as their creative oasis and explore the next chapter of their lives. Quote, Walt Disney loved the Coachella Valley because of the weather and famous lack of Jews. Odd that they would put that. Strange. According to Redfin, Disney will tightly control the communities. That could bring both pros and cons to homeowners. There would, okay, ready? There wouldn't be a, quote, rowdy bar down the street or obnoxious new music from your neighbor. Yeah, of course. You're buying in to a complete, it's completely going to be controlled. But it would come at the cost of your own personal freedom. That wouldn't sit well with everybody, but some Disney devotees who like the company's brand and values would welcome the careful curation of the community. By the way, the personal freedom, giving that people will love that. Mm -hmm. They don't care. I love when people go, yeah, it's not going to be for everybody to complete uh, surrendering of their personal freedom. Well, by the way, over the last two years, it's been for a lot of people. I mean... It's interesting because they're creating a community. It's a corporation uh, with, obviously, they've created an entire world mm -hmm. of cartoon animals and cartoons and famous films and music. And they are saying, people, let come live in that world mm -hmm. and not the real world where there might be a rowdy bar or your neighbor might have music. Leave that world. Come live in our world that's completely curated and everybody's nice to you, not because you're a good person or you deserve it. It's because they are cast members in a movie that we are making, which you will be the star of if you buy our fucking house for however much it's going to be. Walt Disney had grand ambitions to develop a working city with residents. What kind of residents, Walt? Which would have showcased the latest technology because he was a Nazi. That's why that's funny. Yeah, yeah. So when I say, what kind of <laughs> residents, Walt? It's uh, uh, Nazis. He dubbed the project Epcot, which stood for Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow. What did that mean, Walt? 
After his death in 66, Disney's successors reinterpreted his vision as a theme park, Epcot, that exists today. Well, I mean, here's the thing. We wish them all well, right? I mean, uh, I, this is very disturbing, and I'm glad we got into this because I'm uh, uh, very bothered by this. But like anything else, I'm not going to, you know, what am I going to be able to do? We'll probably be eating there in the Cotino Steakhouse. It won't be bad. I'll be in Cotino like anyone else, eating ice cream. People go, hey, remember when you? I said, shut up. I'm just sitting there eating a big Mickey Sunday. It's 112 degrees in Cotino. Maybe I'll live in Cotino. Who gives a fuck anymore? What's the point? What's the point of anything? If they're all happy, maybe it works. <laughs> Who am I to say? Come on this fucking show and I yell about people. People just want to be brainwashed until they fucking go in the ground. Let them. What's the problem?